I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. This is the Billionaire Brown experience. Let's go. So. I'm saying this to you, but I'm also saying this could be a way of life. Like, what if I was, what if my only purpose, like my own, the only good thing I ever did with my life, like, if if like the basics of life right what if that was my thing that you teach people no not that I teach people that I just mastered myself like how Bruce Lee is a master in the martial arts like what if I was just like a master of just the basics like the principles of life That would be. That really would be. And you know how I was started off? Oh. I was started off. What would I start it off with? I was started off. If I just the basics of life, like what's something basic? Eating well. Is that a basic though? A basic would be treating people like human beings regardless of... But is eating healthy a basic of life? For mastery, I think, yes. Nah. Yeah, nah. eating well, eating disciplined, you eat very disciplined. But is it... No, it's not a basic of life though. Because you have a lot of great people that don't eat healthy. But you said, what if that was the only thing that you accomplished with the basics of life? Right. So just because they're successful doesn't mean that they got the basics of life? That's no, six, what do you call successful, though? Successful is when you're living out your purpose and you're happy. Right. So if you're living out your purpose, you think... Nah, you're not serious, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Does that mean that you have to have... I have once heard that you don't have to have it all together to be successful. Like the guy that sponsored Jerry. But why do you think... What, are you saying that there's a lot of people, there's a lot of... There's not a lot of successful people who don't eat healthy? No, I'm saying there is a lot. There could be a lot of people who don't eat healthy. So um, why would that be a basic of life? Because I think success is different from the basics. What? You didn't know what you had to say. You're just talking just because there's a mouth. No, I do. I think success, that's like, okay, do you think Robert Williams was a success? Was Robin Williams a success? Yeah. If his job was to be a comedian or an actor, yeah, of course he did. But he killed himself. That still makes him a success. That's like Marilyn Monroe. Right, but it Marilyn also... Monroe killed herself, but did she live a successful life? I don't know what she wanted to be, but just because you kill yourself doesn't mean you don't live a successful life. Exactly, but it does suggest that you haven't gotten the basics. You do, yeah. You, none of us have the basics of everything, and that's yeah, what that's you why fail to you realize. You said that you want to become a master at the basics. Okay, so you believe. So why do you still use an iPhone? What do you mean? Steve Jobs ate very unhealthy. Many people say, and right. he died. 
So if you're erasing, if someone can't be a success... I didn't say that. I said they can be a success, but just because you're a success doesn't mean you've mastered the basics of life. You said you wanted to be a master. I think so. Okay. Because there's a scaling, there's a system for life. I forget who did the study, but it's extensive research and studies done. And they have this whole chart where, like, they rank a human being on a scale from like zero to a thousand and only like jesus like the top people is like jesus christ martin luther king mahatma gandhi and they're like a seven or eight hundred on this scale but then when they keep going lower it's more and more people that we know who are ranked based off of being a human being and none of them being that none of them are like a hundred a thousand percent yeah, I don't think that y- there's going to be some basics of life you just are not able to get to. You're going to. So are you going to master the basics of life or no? I may not. I can't master them all, but I think we all should know the basics of life. It's kind of like our ABCs. Like, it's that imperative like some people don't know their social security number that's fine some people don't know their debit card number that's fine but you definitely need and should know that the basics yeah you know the ten commandments but you you should know the basics of life you want to master is a basic of life a student going in a classroom and being obnoxious and disrupting the class. No. Exactly. Right. And you just said, what if the only thing you... That's a basic of life. That child does not have the basic of life. Like Robin Williams. We can say, about. well, he, this is this. Or, well, she, she got raped when she was 11 years old. We could say all of that. But the, the based off of the fact... What are we looking at? Then Robin Williams didn't have it. If the kid is disruptive, he doesn't have the basics in life because his world was such to a point where he wanted to end his no, life. No, I'm talking about disruptive to class. Not like, you know, messing around in the classroom, saying a joke, something shit under your breath. I'm talking about disrupting. Yeah, I think like some lean on me shit. With uh, Morgan Freeman, like that, that disruptive. Now that is something but you where it's said like that, what they you missed the basic became, of life. You said, "What if the only thing you were known for was to be the master of yourself, of the basics of life?" See, but you can't be dis- disruptive. <laughs> you can't be disruptive in anything, really. Like, imagine going. See, you're. See- I'm seeing it on a wide scale. And that's what I want. Before we go deep, we need to widen the thought. And the thought is, what's the thought? Do you need the basics of life to be successful? Do you need the big? No, you're you're going to have them, but you can't have all of them. (laughs) So are you going to be known for mastering all of them? Nah, I don't gotta do all. Like I said, it's it's like your ABC. So you just want people to know what they are. No, not people. Everybody. We need to know the basics of life. That do you need to have your shoes tied or untied? Tied. People okay. Are that's everyone. is is normal thing. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're saying the same thing. No, we're not saying. You're you trying to come on people. around. You said not people. Blindfolded. No. And shit. You just, nah, you didn't you start said, out on this side. You, you started out on that motherfucking everybody side. Everybody, please rewind this. Shit. You just said not. Not the people, but everyone. Everyone Everybody is the need to know the basic. Yo, your t- your Every, shoe is untied. Everyone is the people. I don't want an argument or a, a debate minute. when my shoe is untied. I'm arguing. You told me my shoe's untied, and I'm arguing with you. Like, yo, no, nah, but you're like, no, they're dragging. Like, look, <laughs> and I'm just the like. People? We should all know now. If I decide after you say that, just to keep walking with my shoes untied. That's just my choice, but I know. What about wrinkled clothes? 
Uh, that's it depends on who you ask. You know, Donna Karen might say something a little more fashion savvy that'll make you think wrinkle clothes is can can be considered fashion fashionable. But on the over thing, that's what I'm trying to say. Like nobody's perfect at nothing that they do. Me, me not experiencing a basic of life, but helping you realize what they are, like a, being a reminder to you, like that's really huge. The basic of life, like some people forgot, for example, like should you love your job or not? Literally the word love. Should you love your job or not? And the, the, norm, the real answer is yes you should love your job but the fake answer that we all give is you know i gotta do this because this so i gotta do this to do this so i have to do this to do this but that's fine just like with the shoes untied i can choose to still walk but i know like i'm fucking some shit up (laughs) so shit it's just the basic of life. That's all it is. Is brushing your teeth the basic of life? Brushing your teeth is a basic of life. Not Drink only just water. brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth twice a day and flossing freaking twice a day or once a day. That's normal. Now, would you be mad? And we all know that. But we all, including myself, have that reason. Well, I'm, you know, I, I you know. This, 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 this. But the fact is, I'm choosing every night, every day, I'm choosing to only brush my teeth once, it's- maybe twice a day, and not flossing. I'm choosing that. I'm choosing that. But that's a basic of life. Is calling your appointments on time a basic of life? Of <laughs> yeah, so, so- going to an any appointment, not just a. a no, any appointment. You go to any appointment, you should be on time. You go to a movie and the time say it should be there, it should, you should be there on time. You go to a concert and say the time on there, you should be there and on time. But me, I know I should be at a concert on time. But if I go like an hour late thinking there's a, a begin, some beginning acts, but the real act came up first, I know, like, yo, I should have been there on time. I know. So would you be mad if I said I have a appointment? But I'm not a bad person because I do it otherwise. Right. Yeah. But you know. But I know. And that's what we don't know. We don't know that other people know that there's a few basics of life. It's like, think of how stupid it would be if you didn't know your ABCs. Mm -hmm. Like if I was like, yo, do your ABCs and you was like A, B, D, F, G, H, O, Z, A, and, and you did that, and I'm like, yo, what are you doing? That ain't the alphabet. And then you're like, nah, that's my, yo, no, nah, that's how we did it. And then you call your peoples on the phone, and they like, A, B, D, G, F, Z, O, yeah. And I'm like, nah, that shit still falls just because we're all, some of us, when we're not great at something, we get taught anything. And once we're taught anything, we just go with it, we believe it, and then we're just on that shit, and it becomes true. Everything we consistently do over a period of time becomes true. Damn. But the basic shit of life is just what balances everything out, but we as a people don't really like looking at just the basics. You know what I wish I had? Like real-time sound effects because I would have did that. See, now, let me give you an example. What's that guy's name? CeeLo Green made a song Is Chivalry Dead, right? Mm-hmm. See, that's not a basic of life. Chivalry is not a basic of life. I wouldn't want to get into that air. That See, that's outside of my expertise. Mm-hmm. Chivalry, that's more so a choice. Right. It's more so a choice. That's like, you know, uh, studies show that it's healthier for men's prostate to sit down on the toilet when we take in a um, piss, even a piss, not just a dump, but when we take in a piss. But that's the funny thing about even that, and that's why I wouldn't get into that area, because... We find it 
perfectly normal, us as men, we find it perfectly normal to sit down when we take a dump. But we find it abnormal to sit down and take a pee. It's not like we're not already in the process. We've we've accepted.